University of Minnesota who just completed their jazz performance on the floor. This is their 20th time competing in the jazz division with a consecutive top three ranking. Coach Amanda, how do you like keep that legacy going year after year? Yeah, that's a great question. I think it's really just about trying to be innovative and bring something new every year. Um, something fresh for our team, whether it's something that we think uh, will necessarily score well, what do we feel like can push the competition in a new direction, um, and something that just pushes us as artists and technically. You were also on the team back in the day, so what was the change you've seen personally and then into this team today? Um, honestly, I think the love for the team and like just the connection and family mentality has remained the same throughout. I think what has been so fun is that just over the years, dance team has just become so much more mainstream. So many more of these kids, thanks to social media, like know this is a really valid option after high school. So it's just been really fun to see like the insane talent levels that come in. Um, I think that has been the biggest difference. We just are so stacked front to back and it's so fun as a coach because the options are endless. Allie, what do you feel like your team did to keep this performance fresh today on the floor? Um, honestly, just being ourselves. We're a very fun and goofy team and like to the point we go on stage, we're cracking jokes and we're having fun because it's about us and it's not about anybody else when we're out there. And it's it's from keeping that um, offense versus defense mentality and going out there and killing it for, for us and to show everybody else, not because we need to prove anything. University of Minnesota, you did great on the floor. Good luck this weekend.